protesters tied a rope around the statue before toppling it on the grounds of the Manitoba Legislative Building on Thursday. The protest took place on Canada Day where footage showed groups who gathered to remove the statue of Her Majesty. In a separate incident, a statue of Queen Victoria was covered in red and orange paint before also being trampled on by protesters. The group then smeared the statue with a slogan that read, We were children once. Bring him home. Now, Britons have lashed out following the protest with many arguing the Queen is not responsible for the actions which happened so long ago. Commenting on an express.co.uk story detailing the incident, one reader said, The Queen is not responsible for those despicable actions that happened so long ago. There is no excuse for this sort of behaviour, and it doesn't set a good example. Someone else said, Our Queen wasn't even born then. This blame culture is ridiculous. Another person commented, They are behaving like uncivilized barbaric animals. I am in shock. Dot did not expect this kind of behavior from Canadians. Trumplicans may be with their insurrection but not Canadians. Do they not comprehend that they cannot blame QE2 for something that happened before she was born? Should every person on this earth need to carry the burden of our ancestors' wrongdoing? Shouldn't every individual try and look forwards to what is coming and be the best we can be every day? Many others pointed out the protesters should be turning their anger towards the Catholic Church. One person said, nothing to do with the UK or the Queen. Canada had its own government when this happened. They should be addressing the Catholic Church. They have plenty of idols that they can destroy to vent their anger on. Someone else commented. I assume they know that the Catholic Church has little or nothing to do with the Church of England which the Queen is head of. The Catholic Church is well known for its historic arrogance and something else I, apparently, can't mention. It is believed the protest came amid reports of the country's historic treatment of the indigenous population. The backlash occurred after First Nation communities discovered the remains of former children at residential schools. The schools were often run by the Catholic Church with many across the country also facing arson attacks. A discovery of 761 children's remains was found in a mass grave at a former indigenous boarding school in southern Saskatchewan. The mass grave was found by the Cowessis First Nation last Thursday. The group is attempting to expose the exploitation of their ancestors in Canada.